Hello, welcome to the Spanish Football Podcast YouTube channel. I'm Alex Kirkland, this is Sid Lowe. Hello, Alex. Sid is wearing some of our TSFP merchandise, but you can't quite see it now. There you go. Buy this T-shirt. Interesting round of games. Match day 25, Sid, in La Liga. Stop doing that now. Okay, can I, can I stop yeah, that? Yeah, you can stop, thank you. Yes, it is um, match day 25, yes. Starting off on Friday night with Betis against Mallorca. Mallorca, who got a massive win last weekend. And an unexpected one. And truth be told, you look at the teams down the bottom and you think they're probably the most likely to go down. They responded. Everyone at the bottom picked up points last mm. weekend, but they were the only ones to actually win. So they're now on the verge of safety against a Betis team. Disappointing explain, against Leganes ex last weekend. Explain Betis to me. I can't. How, no. how do you explain a club like Betis? You can't. Which sometimes is a, is a great thing. Oh, they're brilliant. No, they're completely, but this, this but, team is a combination of sometimes very, very good, but they sort of, they don't win games that they should win. Mm. And then but they're fun to watch. Actually, this could be quite well, they normally game. Are, Although that, I watched that game against Leganes last Oof. weekend. That wasn't any fun it wasn't at very all. Good. The early game on Saturday is arguably the biggest game of the weekend. Definitely. Celta against Leganes. At, Definitely. Um, Balaidos. Two teams in trouble. Celta, both of whom drew last weekend, but with very different um, feelings after. Because, of course, Leganes is 0-0 at home. Celta go and draw at the Bernabeu. Only two points between them. Having won last week as well with Celta. So there is this sense that, OK, maybe things are starting to go in the right direction. I must admit, I'm not entirely sure that that's true. But this is a huge opportunity for them against a Leganes team who... Well, I mean, it'd be a miracle if they get there without having committed suicide half of them because the, they've lost, they lost in the Syria course in the winter window. They've just lost Martin Braithwaite. Take my brave away. And I feel sorry for, so sorry for Leganes. Um, and I think even if Leganes do respond, you wonder if maybe not now. At four o'clock on, on Saturday, rather, are we holding our breath? Oh, to like see it. whether Martin Braithwaite will make his Barca debut against Eibar. I hope he does. I hope he gets minutes. And I, I mean, you know, beyond all the questions of how unfair this is, and, and I do think it's unfair, and I think it's the rule that's unfair. I don't think you can. I don't. Well, you don't. You can't blame Martin for taking the opportunity. No, not at all. I don't really think you can blame Barcelona. No, for, well, for, um, for having, Leganes themselves have said that. Leganes right? themselves have said that for taking advantage of the rules. That said, of course, they're partly in this situation through through their own flaws, or, although some of it is bad luck as well. Mm. Um, so, but once we've got rid of the, 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 or at least moved on from that debate about whether it's fair enough I hope Martin succeeds because he's uh, a good player he's a good player and, and, I and think, we're not just saying that he's our, he's our mate and I think and I think he's um, I think he's bright and he's intelligent and I think he can fit I don't know how much he'll play but you're right let's see let's see let's hold our brave should we do these all I, the way through let's all... do we're going to do brave fight puns for the entire right. what do you call this video I was going to call it a pod let's wait for these puns you, you stop wasting your brave please um, 6.30 on Saturday this should be fun actually Real Sociedad against Valencia I'm braving myself for this. Oh, God. I'm regretting this already. I'm trying Please. to keep the break, but I... Um, Real Sociedad Valencia, Sid. Actually, this could be quite fun. In yeah. theory, these are two teams that are competing for that final Champions League place. At mm -hmm. the very least, they're competing for a European place. Both of whom have good moments and less good moments. Obviously, you say in terms of balance, far more good moments for Real Sociedad and mm. not least based on expectations at the start of the season than, than Valencia. They're a lot of fun to watch. And Valencia don't really defend very well. So if there's a game when you go, you know, I think we can expect goals in this. It's yeah. this one, isn't it? For Lareal, Erdegaard has dropped off a little bit, hasn't he? Since Later in games, it does feel like he runs Christmas. out of breath a I, little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> no, I, no he's, he has run out of steam a little bit. And he's had, a, he's had one or two injury. They're, they're, they're trying to manage this injury he's got a little bit. But he's still brilliant to watch. They're mm. still a really lovely team to see. And of course, right now with Alexander Isak. Oh. Isak, I think you're supposed to put the accent on the eye at the start. He's he's brilliant to watch. He's really, really exciting. Nine o'clock on Saturday, Levante against Real Madrid. Now, last weekend, we were absolutely certain that Madrid would beat Celta. They didn't. They're away from home. We're still time. certain they're going to win, aren't they? Uh, yes. Roger um, Martí's playing. Roger Martí, who admitted this week that Barcelona had contacted him. Well, he's he's one of the um, sort of top top scorers. Yeah, in, well, I, think it's, I think it's I think it's ten goals this season, isn't it? Did he did he score last weekend? No, he didn't. I think it's nine goals this week. Okay. On Sunday, midday kickoff, Osasuna against Granada, a mid table clash. Both of them are mid table, but actually quite happy, like that not in a pejorative sense. I think they're really they're Yeah, absolutely. To no, be there. these are these are two teams who I think have achieved more than they would have expected back in the first division, of course, both recently promoted teams that have both overachieved, you know, week ten Granada were top of the table. Osasuna, of course, had that draw with Barcelona, had a brilliant run at home, which admittedly has kind of drifted away from them a bit without Jimmy Avila. I think both of these teams are mid table, they are happy with it but they will be both aware that a very bad run and they might suddenly start thinking, oof, you know, they might be put in a position where they're holding their brave. 
I, they're all going to be the same pun. Though. That's the, the got, same got, one got, now. Got, right? Over and over again. Pun, yeah. uh, two o'clock on Sunday. Alaves against Athletic. Athletic haven't won in nine games. Yeah. Now Athletic are a patient with their coaches. Mm. Always. They always give them breathing room. Oh. I'm, I'm just, I, I kind of fucking carry on with it, under, <laughs> working under these conditions. Um, but so, but Garitano's job isn't under threat. No, it's not. And actually, you look at the, the, the table of results since 2020, and they're doing, I think there's something like eighth in that. Since They've, 2020? Basically since the turn of the year. So what I mean is a form guide. If yeah, you but like, no one says 2020. You say 2020. Like, 2020. You do 2020. Spanish. See, see how integrated we've become in Spain. It's 2000. So, so in other words, do you know that guy that Barcelona just bought? Yeah. <laughs> Four o'clock on Sunday. Let's get through this. Vide lead against Espanyol. Sit. Stay with me. Come back in shot. Come back in shot. Vide lead against Espanyol. I don't know. Another bottom of the table clash. Okay, I don't know, says Sid Lowe. 30 on Sunday. You're excited about this game. You're going to be Actually, there, presumably. Hetafe Sevilla. Yeah, this is this is really big. A, a lot of pressure for, for Lopetegui at the moment. He really pressure is under a, Julian, a, a lot of again. pressure. Um, and I think there, there there is a sense that... You know, they should at least compete. They, I don't think he's in a position where he absolutely has to qualify for the Champions League. But I think he has to compete for that Champions League place. Mm. And, and I think they have to have a good run in the Europa League. In fact, I think there is a sense that this is Sevilla. This is their competition. Maybe they should win it. Results haven't been good of late. He started tinkering the team a bit, I think, trying to find solutions which haven't yet quite convinced. And up against a team who, if anyone in Spain, is absolutely clear about what they do, who they are, how they approach games, and is getting fantastic results with it, even though they were beaten last weekend at Barcelona, they played very well, certainly in the second half, and they made a game of it. It's a Getafe. Getafe are, right now, the best team in Spain. Ooh. Finally, wow, on uh, Sunday, statement. it was, but let's stick with it. Yeah, stick with it. Um, yeah. Nine o'clock, Atleti against Villarreal. Atleti, after their best result of the season against Liverpool. Yeah, the question I'm wondering now is, is how quickly can I get from Hitafe to the Wanda Metropolitan? <laughs> That's the big question. How many goals will I have missed by the time I get there, and how many will I get to see? Hang on, so how long have you got to, to get there? Half an hour. That's not, I mean, not I'm, I'm going to have to drive so fast that it takes Please your breath away. <laughs> sometimes when you're making your breakfast. Oh, I thought you were worried. Hey, I thought you were worried about the puns, not the. Um, I'm wor- that's a constant worry, but also your um, safety. Yeah, I might have to do this in a taxi or something. Anyway, that, I think this could be quite fun, but I think there's a potential for it not to be. But you know, Villarreal against Atletico Madrid has actually been really big games over the last few years. We've had some, re- we've had some very good results from from did I say Vardlithen? I meant to say Villarreal very good results then from Villarreal particularly at El Madrigal obviously less so at the Wanda but yeah big week for Atletico who all of a sudden feel happy to be themselves okay I'm sorry about all the Braithwaite puns I really respira, do apologise respira espera is that his name in Spanish? I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess in a way, it is. Um, don't forget, listen to the Spanish Football Podcast. It's much better than this. Uh, with Phil <laughs> and Sid tell you what, on Monday. Should we promise on Monday, not one Braithwaite pun? Not one. Should we make promises that we can't keep? No.